So today we're looking at leak code number 131. It's called palindrome partitioning. And so here we're given a string S, partition S, and we want such that every substring of the partition is a palindrome. Return all possible palindrome partitionings of S. And a palindrome is a string that reads the same backwards and forwards. So here we have AAB, and we can see all the palindromes in this are A, A, B, and then we have A, A, and B. And then in example two, we have A, and it's just A. Okay, so this is, this is a question that is going to be matching all the other questions that are in this playlist. And so if you haven't seen the other ones, I highly recommend it. We're going to be using a backtracking template to solve this. And before we jump into the code, we're going to look at the recursive tree that this backtracking template creates and how we can make small changes to that template and then go ahead and uh, apply it to the specific constraints of the problem that we're looking at. Okay, so here we're going to we're going to start with a slate. Okay, it's just going to be an empty array. We're going to have a global result here, which will be an array, and then we're going to create two uh, variables, an i and j, and we're going to do an iteration on each level throughout the entire input string. Okay, so let me just kind of walk through how this how this is going to go. Here i is at a, it's at index zero. So on this level, we're gonna pass in a on the slate, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and increment j, and we're gonna take a copy of that string a a and pass it into the slate over here. Okay, we're gonna then go ahead and increment j over here, and we're gonna pass this into the slate. It's gonna be a a b. And now we're gonna check, is this a palindrome? Okay, it is. So on this level of the slate, we're gonna go ahead and pass that A into our slate, okay? Now, as we go down the tree, I'm just gonna look at down the tree. We're gonna look at depth first search, not breadth first as we were before. We're gonna look at depth first search. So as we go down the tree, we already passed in A into our slate. We're gonna go ahead and increment I Okay, so we're going to just basically put, uh, we can just do j, j plus 1, okay, which will be uh, coming here. And now we're going to check, is this a palindrome? Is the, the, the string from index i to j a palindrome? It is, and the string is a. So we're going to go ahead, this is going to come down to a, that is a palindrome, that gets passed into our slate. Now we're gonna go ahead and increment j. Okay, we're gonna, actually, sorry, we're gonna increment i, we're gonna pass this into our recursive helper, and we're gonna get to b, and we're gonna check, right, actually, before that, before we get to that, when we're over here, we're gonna check, is this a palindrome? Is a, b a palindrome? It's not, and so we're never going to pass that into our recursive call, because we're only looking at palindromes. Now we go ahead and increment i, and j will start where uh, i is at, and it's gonna check, is the string at starting at index i and ending at index j, is that a palindrome b? It is, okay? This is actually a b here. And so we're gonna go ahead and push that into our slate. Okay, and now when we increment i, it's out of the range, and so we pass in whatever is in our slate here, we just push it into our global result. Okay, we take a scan of it and push it into our global result. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead and take, I'll just do it in blue. We'll go ahead and take A, A, and B, pass that into our slate. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and move back up, back up the recursive tree. Okay, it's gonna pop off the slate, our slate will be empty, and we'll get back up here to this level. So now, let me go ahead and reset I and J. I is still here and j is here. j increments on this level of the tree right there. And we check, is this a palindrome? And our slate is now empty, okay? Because we moved up the tree. So now all we have in our slate is a a, because that is a palindrome. So we push that into, into our slate. Here we have a a, okay? And now what do we do? We go ahead and uh, 
increment i and go down the tree. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and increment i. Let me move this around here. i is going to start here. Okay, and we're going to ask is is that a palindrome? Okay, so is actually I'm sorry i is going to be here because it's going to be j plus one. And so we ask, is that a palindrome? Is, is the start index of i and the end index of j, is that a palindrome, which is b? It is, and so we add it into our slate here. I know the colors are kind of getting messed up, but I hope you get the idea, okay? It is a palindrome, and now when we pass in, when we increment i from here, it's outside of the range, and so we know we're at the leaf level. We go ahead and pass this into our global result. Okay, we take a scan of this slate and pass this into here. And this is going to be A, A, and B. Okay, now this will never actually go anywhere because this is not a palindrome, right? So when we go back up to our main level here, and we're looking at I start of I and uh, end of J, this is not a palindrome. It's never going to go to that, that far into the tree. And so then we just go ahead and re uh, return return this result. Okay? So that's the idea behind it. It's, it's a little bit confusing at first, but I highly recommend drawing out these trees to kind of get a good idea of what's going on. And here we can jump into the code. So what we're going to do here is first create a global result. Okay, so I'll do const result. We'll just create an empty array. Um, we're going to have our depth first search recursive helper. That'll take in I, it'll take in S, and a slate. Okay, and then we want to check, we have three cases here. We have a backtrack case, a base case, and a depth first search recursive case. Okay. Now for this we don't have a we don't need a backtracking case, so we're just going to remove that. All we need is a base case. And so what is our base case? If i equals s dot length, then we know we're at the leaf level of the tree. We just want to go ahead and take a scan of whatever's in our slate and push it into our global result. Okay, and then we'll just return here. This is following the template. If you haven't seen the videos in the, in the rest of this playlist, highly suggest you watch them because I'm just following a template that I'm using for all these combinations, subsets, uh, palind uh, not palindromes, but um, uh, permutations, those types of problems. It's just using a very, very common uh, backtracking recursive template. Okay, so now in our depth first search recursive case, we're going to uh, create a for loop because we're going breadth first on this level. So we're going to have for let j equals i. j is less than uh, s dot length and j plus plus. And now here at this level, we have to do some pruning. We have to do some checking whether we want to go further down the, the recursive tree or not. And so we're going to create a helper function. So we'll just say if... Uh, I'll say is palindrome, okay, and we'll put in our s, we'll do a start, which will be i, and an end, which will be j. Now, if that, if that range between i and j is a palindrome, then what do we want to do? We want to add it to our slate. So we want to do slate.push, and then we can do s.slice, starting at i and ending at j plus 1. It's not inclusive, that's why we're doing j plus 1. Okay, we now increment uh, j, so we say uh, depth first search, j plus one. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our string and then our slate, and then we wanna pop this off our slate. Okay, and let's see here. Then what we wanna do is we wanna call depth first search. We wanna set i to zero. We pass in our s, and our slate will be an empty array, and then we return our global result. Now, one thing we need to do is we just need to create a helper function for is palindrome. So we'll just do const is 
palindrome, we'll do S, start. And I'm not gonna go over how to do a palindrome. Um, I think it's in a different video, but you just wanna just do a while, start is less than end. And then here, if S of start does not equal S at end, we wanna return false. And then we want to increment start and decrement end. And then if not, then we want to go ahead and return true. OK. And that's it. That, that's basically it. We're just following this template. We have this slight constraint with this palindrome here. OK, we created that helper function. We have it here. And then we're just, you know, we're just running through it like we did all the other problems. Let's go ahead and run this, make sure everything works. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we have an extra, extra equal sign. Okay, and we're good. Okay, and we're getting really good performance on this. And so, yeah, so now if you're still confused with this, I highly recommend watching the other videos in the playlist. I went through this very fast and I just went through it just to kind of highlight once you know this template, how quickly it is you know how easy it is to solve these types of problems it, it becomes really really easy all you have to figure out is what is the constraint that's specific to this here it's a palindrome so this line of code actually just this right here is all we really have to figure out everything else is just basically following this this backtracking template and you know you, you by this point you should know how to basically punch out a palindrome helper function uh, and so yeah, that's lead code 131. Um, if you're still confused on this stuff, highly recommend checking out the other videos. Another great tip is to draw out the tree. You know, it's not enough to just memorize the template. Understand under the hood what's happening. There's a recursive tree that's happening and you're going depth first search to the leaf node and you're doing some sort of work there to push it into a global result. And you wanna know how that tree conceptually is fanning out um, and that way you can apply these different constraints to whichever problem that you're working on. Okay, so that's lead code 131. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all on the next one.